I'm Trayvon Martin. I'm Trayvon Martin. I'm Trayvon Martin. I am Trayvon Martin. We, we are, are Trayvon, Trayvon Martin. Martin. What's going on, fellas? Man, Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. Well, check this out. First off, how y'all feel about that verdict? Bullshit. It's bullshit. Everybody knows it's bullshit, man. I mean, I thought the Browns were going to at least get manslaughter or something, you know what I mean? For, you know, before he did, but, you know, he ain't get nothing out of that. Man, this is what I learned, though. After the interviews with the jurors, them jurors on that bullshit, man. And I already said that you, when you got money, you can buy freedom. And that's what happened. That man ain't got no money, though. Man, he got no, he, more, money was donated yeah. to him. Yeah, he thousands of dollars at a time to pay for it. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Did y'all see the uh, thing last night? The juror, one of the jurors they had on there. She, she was talking like that was her, like that was her homeboy. Yeah, call him by George, his first name. Yeah, George, yeah George, that, that blew George. my mind. Yeah. So I said, I don't know, man. I think like a lot of people thought a lot of bad stuff was gonna come out of this as far as like riding. No, people don't ride no more. We just you know, go to social you media, know. huh? They did in Oakland. They did yeah. right over there? Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, them jokers are breaking store windows and everything. The bad thing, I think they just did it just to, for something to do. Right. You know, it wasn't like riding in the 60s when they really mm -hmm. rioted. This yeah, here. They told they had some shit. Yeah. But this wasn't the Rodney King verdict. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? The thing, the thing with the juror is, though, they sound like Charlie, she's taking her time, you know what I'm saying, 15 minutes and she yeah. running with it. That's she got to, uh, Book coming out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who's so that? The, the juror that they knew last night, the B37 bitch. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, something that blew my mind, it was six jurors, and they said it was a split at first, three and three. How, I really want to know how did those three that were saying not guilty sway the three that were saying guilty? What what was said? In well, three were saying not guilty, two were saying manslaughter, and one was saying. Secondary murder, but yeah, 3-3. Yeah, but, but here's the thing too though, they were talking about they were unsure of the guidelines and this, that, and the other. But when you're unsure, you, 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 you clarify with the judge to see what's going on. None of that shit happened. And then they had about uh, Robert Zimmerman, Joel Zimmerman's brother, um, was saying like, uh, oh, well, why y'all getting so mad about it? You know, a lot of people kill each other in Chicago every day. Y'all not making a big deal about that. And it was kind of like, this is kind of insensitive for him to say, you know what I mean? Right. This is kind of insensitive. But I do want to read something real quick. This is, uh, you know, stand your ground law, you know, the definition of it. It says, states that a person may justifiably use force in self-defense when there is reasonable belief of an un unlawful threat without an obligation to retreat first. So do y'all think, how y'all think that applies to this? Read it one more time. One more time. states that a person may justifiably use force self-defense when there is reasonable belief of an unlawful threat without an obligation to retreat first. First of all, he wasn't a fucking threat to George, man. George was a threat. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't a threat to George at all because he was minding his business. You know what I'm saying? And George was a threat to him because he chased them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's where that shit goes out the window yeah. automatically. But, I mean, when, when your father's an ex-judge and your mother it's a uh, former, what is it, court clerk? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit, yep. shit yeah. weighs in your favor, man. When you got close ties, friends and family, in a circuit court or a federal court, shit gonna work in your favor, especially when you got a fucking little hedge fund that get me out of jail. You know, when you sitting on, when you sitting on connections like that, hey, I'm not <laughs> mad at you, George, for for you know buying your freedom. I'm mad at you for killing Trayvon. I mean, I don't know, man, but to me, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm not blaming the prosecution, but I don't think the prosecution did everything they could either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they made some valid points at the end, but they waited until the case was halfway over to start getting strong. To get some power. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Y'all should have been, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should have been snapping necks from the jump. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was some bullshit to me, man. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I just don't think they gave it everything they had in the beginning. So, I mean, you gonna have three. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have people that just doubt it when you got the defense coming on strong. And you know what I'm saying? The defense made it their case where, look, 
Y'all gonna have to prove us, you know what I'm saying? Prove to everybody that he had ill will and all that. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you let the defense make the case, you fuck. Exactly. But I think it's the truth part about it is the fact that, you know, it's so that you lied on a couple of issues, right? Mm -hmm. You don't even you not even you don't even go on the stand to even defend yourself, to even say, well, how how you get off when you alive that you ain't even willing to even go on the stand and say your, your part, your story about what happened. Yeah, granted, he had a, a couple of those, uh, you know, yeah, but I mean, I mean, granted, he had those uh, videos he was he said. But all I'm saying is, how you get off of nothing when you just like, if, if you're able to get on the stand and speak on for yourself, that means your guilt. That means you got something to hide. And the thing about it is, Florida have you know, been kind of tripping lately, but there's a couple of other states with stand your ground law. We got Alabama. Alaska, Arizona, California, Florida, Georgia, mm -hmm. Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, man. There's a lot of states out there. They say Virginia is considered it. Wow. You know what I mean? So, a lot of Bama going to Virginia yeah, DMV. But, yeah, but here's the thing, too, though. It's like, you know, the feds are getting involved. Man. These laws have been on the books forever. And it took this one death, Trayvon Martin's death, to get publicized, not to mention all the people that got killed prior to this, that use this law in Florida, Texas, and any other state. But now they want to, you know, rather than change the law, they should have been changed the law. Right. And, and what about the what about the girl that stood her ground and just fired a warning shot in the house? And got 20 years. Yeah, she got a dub. Easy. That don't make sense to me. Exactly. But back to Trayvon, this could have played out in so many different other ways. Where if George Zimmer would have, would have listened to, when uh, he would talk to the 911 operator mm -hmm. and did not follow him. Um, even if he followed him and said, hey, you know, this is who I am. Uh, are you looking for someone? Can I help you? Yeah. You know, how, like, how do you get to the point where you have to defend yourself on somebody that you're following? If I'm following you, why do I have to defend myself from you? I'm following you. You mind your business, but I'm following you. That right. does not make sense to me. Right. I don't care if you white on white, black on black, and white on white, black, Puerto Rican, or whatever it may be. It doesn't make sense to me. And I think it's all you can the challenge. I'm going to watch our asses. If you can't carry guns, your ass can't be walking on the sidewalks either. They're going to lock mm -hmm. your ass up too. That's a motherfucking yeah. weapon. You better walk, they better jaywalk niggas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So that's the whole deal, man. But you know, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, I heard the Bama won the lottery. Y'all hear that? Who? Said George Zimmerman won the lottery for like 30 million. I hope it's a lot. What is that? I don't know. I saw it on Facebook. Man, look, man. I ain't seen the last one. I hope he did win. I hope he did win 30 million so we can sue it. Look, we. So, look, 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 look Said that he, you know what I'm saying, he's actually about to file a civil case yeah. against the Martin family. But you really? know what that is, right? That's just a power play. Because you know, right. Trayvon, the Martin family is going to file a civil suit against Exactly, him. exactly. And that's, that's how you, that's how you uh, try to get it notified. Yeah. You know, so it's going to be a, a win lose situation. You know? Hey, so they're playing it smart. They got enough money to uh, make this shit go away. Yeah. And no telling, you know, that people not donating to that. Trade my Martin Foundation, but when you do donate money to a foundation, make sure you donate to the real foundation. Do your homework. We yeah, don't, don't have don't that get information left. to post. Yeah, yeah. We don't have that information to post. Give you, give you guys yet, but when we do, we gonna post it. Hey, um, I want to talk about something. The backlash of the verdict, man. I mean, everybody was pissed. Everybody was heated, but um. So all the people who are saying that, you know what I'm saying, the state of Florida never get their money again, they're not going down there, all that bullshit, man. It's, it's nonsense, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's that's right. just stupid, you know what I'm saying? Because there's no reason for you not to go down there and enjoy yourself. I'm going to Disney, motherfucker. And do what you got to do, <laughs> all because, you know what I'm saying, that state has a law. You don't even... You don't even pay attention to the laws of your own fucking city or your exactly. state. Exactly. But, but yet you spend the money in these fucking nightclubs and in these bars and everything. Preach. But you're not gonna go down there all because the verdict ain't turned on. Hallelujah. Out. You sound stupid as shit, man. Shut up, man. This is another thing. What he was just saying. 
Mark has named a number of states that have the same laws. So you're, going, you're not going to go to those states either. Exactly. You're, going, you're not going to go to the Essence Festival in New Orleans, which is in Louisiana. All these other states have the same damn law. So you're going to just say, fuck it, I'm going to just stay in Maryland, D.C., Virginia, stay or wherever else you live. But I'm listening, black people. I'm with y'all. I'm not going to Florida again. The problem is, my man turned 40 next year. We're going to South Beach. So <laughs> I'm going to come to South Beach. I'll enact that. I won't, go, I won't go there again. Fuck you, Florida. But I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fucked up situation, but I'm not going to, I mean, you're going to blame Disney for George Zimmerman getting old? Fuck, I'm still taking yeah. my kids down there for Christmas. So hold yeah. on. Fuck. But they don't realize that uh, Disney owned Bush Gardens. So it don't make it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It don't matter it's, when you go, there you are. Yeah, Disney, Disney on, on, on uh, Clan too. KKK. Like that buddy yeah. he got on? Yeah. Look at the Clan Wizard. Yeah, man, Kobe got... Hey, so he's going to show you my mom with the Grand yeah, Wizard. You can't right. be Trayvon Martin and the Ku Klux Klan at the same time. At the same damn time, because we all human. And that's what everybody got to fuck. Dispel the fucking race shit, because there's only one race, the human race. And what you got to realize is that we are all one. We we different shapes, sizes, and colors, cool. But motherfuckers, y'all got to realize there ain't nobody better than nobody. You know what I'm saying? You might have more money than me. Or you might not have no money. It don't give a fuck. We here. Let's, let's be human. Tracy, you missing something? The mustache. <laughs> let me let me tell you. Let me tell you, man. I knew Marcus when he was a hundred eighty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> now Marcus is the size of two Marcus. <laughs> he ate his twin. <laughs> Motherfucker George Zimmerman was about 180 pounds when he went in. Yeah. <laughs> they see him in trial. This motherfucker bought Marcus out. Marcus killed the motherfucker, man. He probably didn't kill the motherfucker. was on trial for a year. That's right. And that's, that's what the fuck I happened. And I got off. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I know. If, if George Zimmerman went to jail, one of them chins was going to be a cum bucket. <laughs> that's what's going to happen, man. They going to bust So check this out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in a nest like this. George Zimmerman, fuck you. Take off this hot ass hoodie because it's hot as shit down this place. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. you, Tracy. Tracy. Oh, Tracy. <laughs> Tracy. 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 I love you, though. What's hot as shit down here? You got an AC on nothing. PG said, with no fucking water. Not no air, motherfucker. Goddamn. Yeah. Shit.